What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a hair care routine. It has been requested so much. If I had a penny for every time I was asked for my hair care routine, I'd be rich. I'd be... And I'm so sorry to say, but I don't really have much of a routine, but I'm just going to walk you through what I do. As you can see, I have my hair clipped off at the moment. I have already brushed it through, but... It just doesn't want to be straight, but we're straightening it anyway. Okay. Obviously, I've already washed my hair. I wasn't about to take you in the shower with me. That's a private show, babe. It's a private show and you don't have tickets for it. Aww. I'm just going to show you the products that I use instead of, like, stripping. Despite what it looks like in this lighting, my hair is blonde. Just in case you're new here, my hair is blonde, but... This lighting makes it look darker. A lot of the products I use are specifically for blonde hair. Just because if you have blonde hair, you'll already know this. Products can like cake your hair and it just makes it look darker. I mean, that's a good thing to know for people without blonde hair as well. A lot of hair products will coat your hair just to make it look shiny. It doesn't mean it's making your hair healthy, it just makes it look shiny. I switch between shampoos all the time but recently I have been using Fudge Professional and this is the Luminizer Moisture Boost Shampoo and the Luminizer Weightless Conditioner. I love these. They make my hair feel so soft. They don't make my hair go like super dark or anything either. Love, love, love. Now, I haven't used these shampoos today, but I am just going to show you them anyway because I do switch between them, as I said. So I sometimes use this, which is the, the Nature Spell Growth Complex What? Salt-Free Shampoo. <laughs> this helps with like hair thickening, growth, whatever. So if you do have fine hair, if you have thin hair, try this. It's basically the same as rosemary oil, however, it's not an extra cost. So like, you're gonna have to buy a shampoo anyway, so, you know? And it means you don't have to add an extra step into your hair care routine. So if you're lazy or broke or both, just get this. The only thing I will say is I've used the matching conditioner of this before and I, I hate to say it, but I I, ooh, I will never use it again. It was awful. It made my ends feel so, so, so dry. So instead of using the conditioner, I just use this. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Food Banana. But right now, we're going to take my hair out. Interesting. Slay! Ow! I just got my hair caught on my earring. Ow! Oh, you little bugger. Ow. We're gonna brush this through again. Any brush will do. I do actually brush my hair in the shower. Once I put my conditioner in, I brush it through. It's already been brushed out of the shower as well. Please remember that. And this is what I'm struggling with. Oh, whilst I wrestle with my own hair, if there are any videos that you guys want me to do, comment them. And at last I see the Lord. Oof. I just punched the wall. I'm upset myself. But I would just tell you some other things that I do to keep my hair in good condition. Because everyone always asks me, how do I grow my hair? It's not, it's not about the actual growing part of it. Your hair is not going to grow if it's not in good condition. Well, let me rephrase that. It is going to grow, but it's just going to keep snapping. So your hair could be growing. Say your hair's like this length. If it's damaged from about here, even if it's growing, because this part's damaged, it'll keep snapping off. So it'll never actually get past that part because it'll keep snapping back up to here. So unless you actually take care of the damage, your hair's not gonna grow. Things that I do to keep my hair in good condition. I always avoid heat as much as possible, which definitely contradicting myself here because I am about to use heat on my hair, but I will explain the product in a minute and maybe, maybe you'll understand, who knows. But I avoid heat at all costs, like I pretty much always let my hair dry naturally. I wash my hair maximum two times a week, which I understand not everyone can do that. I understand if you're leaving the house a lot and your hair gets oily quite quickly, I get it, you're gonna have to wash your hair more than that. Let your hair be greasy, because your natural oils will help your hair so much more than any oil you can buy, okay? Plus, save you money. One of the best things that I find for helping your hair grow and just look better in general is 
anytime you wash your hair at the end of your shower your bath or just whatever cold water freezing cold water i mean it i don't know the exact science behind it but i promise you i'm gonna try and learn how to edit and I'm going to show you a picture of me as a kid. Now, be warned, it is a jump scare. Oh, jump, jump scare. scare. I look like Gollum. Like, my hair is very thin, very short, very fine. Scary. Scary. And the one thing that I changed was my mum literally just started making me put cold water, freezing cold water on my scalp after I washed my hair. I don't know the science behind it. I know it does something to the blood flow up in your scalp. It brings blood up or something. I don't know. Blood flow. Blood flow to the scalp. The cold water also just makes your hair look shinier because it like seals it. I really don't know the science. Do I look like a scientist? Next tip, if you are still struggling, it could be because you're just not getting the right vitamins. So you can just take vitamins. I take Novamins, but there are plenty of brands out there. So obviously do your research before buying any. Make sure you consult with a doctor, especially if you already have medications that you take or just health problems in general. I take these ones, they're collagen and it's specifically collagen is for hair, skin and nails. These taste good though. Why is doing my hair such a chore? Like I appreciate my hair, I really do. I'm very grateful for my hair, but also I'm not a fan of spending more than 10 minutes doing anything, to be honest, I get too distracted. We're straightening my hair, this is what we, this is the GHD Duet Style, a two-in-one styler. So you have the straightener and a hairdryer built in. The price tag is pretty hefty, but if your hair is anything like mine, so worth it. So, so worth it. But just a quick explanation of what this actually does. Once you turn it on, it sounds like an airplane taking off. It's great. It dries your hair, so you straighten it as it dries. It's not hot enough to actually damage your hair. Again, I'm not a scientist. I'm confused too, but if you go to GHD's website or their Instagram or anything like that, there's videos explaining the science behind it and how it doesn't damage your hair. And this is suitable for all hair types. And I know you're probably sat there right now just saying, Tessa, just use a random straightener. Any straightener will work. No, 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 no. The problem with my hair, and I'm sure many other people have this, is when I let it dry naturally and then straighten it, it just goes back to being whatever it dried as. So if it dried wavy like this, I'm gonna have to wet it again because that will just keep going curly again otherwise. With this, it straightens and dries at the same time so it ends up drying straight. So my straight hair actually lasts for more than like two hours. <coughs> Shocking. Every time I've used this, my straight hair has lasted pretty much the whole week. We're gonna stop delaying now. I mean, we're gonna get my hair done. I can't find the hole. That's what he said. There's a switch. Oh, there. Good morning. I've just thought of something as well that I haven't mentioned. If you haven't already, replace every single scrunchie you have with a silk one. All of them. Bin them or recycle them somehow. And that goes for your pillowcase as well. Your skin will thank you too. It's not just a hair thing. Okay, your skin will be so much better as well. Get a silk pillowcase. I've just re-wet my hair because I'm a professional yapper and the front parts are dried. We are always, always blurry. Hello? Always, 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 always use heat protector if you're going to put heat on your hair. Even if you're not going to put heat on your hair, just put it on anyway. Because what if you go out in the sun and the sun's just like, mmm, I want to scorch her hair today. Hmm? You don't want that, do you? I use the Fudge Professional Blow Dry Aqua Primer. This makes your hair so soft. Don't get me started on it. Yay! I've just realized it would be good if I actually told you how to use this. So you turn it on, you take small sections, but you hold it at the root for about three seconds and then you gently and slowly just pull it down and there is going to be air coming out of both sides here so it's just going to dry your hair as you slowly pull it down like that and you can go over the bit of hair i think it's about three times and that will not damage your hair then once you've done all your hair if you want you don't have to but if you want you can 
click this button just here called shine shot you can click that and it turns this into a straightener and you can straighten any last bits or if you just want extra shine on your hair but anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna speed through this now goodbye That's not good. Hold up. Stop! Where's the switch? Why have I got T-Rex arms? Okay, we've turned it off and back on. That should fix it. Be on your best behavior this time. First half done, gonna leave that at the back. And we're gonna take this down. I always find that the first half, like this half, always takes longer. That's not very straight, is it? It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, okay? It's Pride Month, stop being homophobic. Anyway, <clears throat> okay, that is my hair dried. Now I could go in and straighten it because I don't know if you can tell, but there's still a couple like little waves, kinks, whatever you want to call them. There's just a couple left. So I am going to go in with the straightener. The straightener obviously does damage your hair, so beware of that. But the actual drying part of this doesn't. Well, we're just gonna do like a quick, quick once over. I find it mainly the ends that I like to straighten. Um, and then just these bits around my face. The rest is pretty much straight, so I don't see the point, but I'll just quickly. Okay, that is it. I'm gonna go into the other room so that I can show you it better in there because right now you cannot see it. Well, that is my hair done, and I can't lie, I'm probably just going to shove it up in a claw clip now. Because I'm not going anywhere. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to know anything else about what I do with my hair, then let me know. Bye!